All right, so real quick, I just wanted to do a quick review of the Zion Smooth Q motion tracking. Um, I watched a lot of videos online, and one thing that a lot of people fail to mention is that the motion tracking has two options. It has a walking and a motion. So when you have it on walking setting, it moves slower, and the motion setting moves faster, theoretically. So I just wanted to try that out and see. So I'm standing about six feet away from the camera. I have it on walking mode right now. So I'm just gonna kind of move back and forth. And you see it's following me. It's moving pretty slow. But it's doing a good job. And then I'm gonna set it to motion and we'll see what that does if it moves any faster. Okay, so now I have it set it to motion setting. Um, so theoretically it should move a lot faster. And then also I noticed that um, there's only a couple videos that I watched on YouTube that people go over the settings. You can actually control the how fast the camera pans and tilts and stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and So I can already tell that it's doing a good job of following me a lot faster than, than the other settings. So let me see if I can switch that on the fly. So you can't switch the settings on the fly, but I switched it back to walking. And you see I'm moving and it's not following me. And then it picks me back up here, hopefully. Yeah, it does. So I would have to say after this quick little test, I would have to say that definitely the, if you guys are having trouble with uh, motion tracking, um, you know, following the objects quickly, then I would definitely switch to motion tracking. And then if it's still not fast enough, you can actually create a custom one where you can make it so I assume that it would be able to move really quickly so it would be able to follow very fast moving objects. Um, Alright, thanks for watching guys. Peace.